This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Renge, and this is being filmed on Halloween, and I know it's going to be a day after or later when you watch this, but I am all dressed up. Let's uncarrier Rumor Roundup. This is the show where I take all the rumors from the week and I put them together and smash them and bash them into one rumor show. Up this week, we're going to uncarrier Galaxy S5 rumors. The iPhone 6 is obviously coming and coming sometime soon. Google's looking to get into the smartwatch game and BlackBerry might finally be meeting its maker and they're supposedly discussing a sale with Facebook of all companies. This is Rumor Roundup. Go ahead and uncarrier it. The Korean site Digital Times is claiming the Galaxy S5 is going to pack ages ridiculous, four gigs of RAM and 64-bit Exynos chip, and that same fake leather back found on the Note 3. Although there's been rumors that maybe they're gonna totally ditch the plastic and go for metal, I put much more stock in it looking like a smaller, just redonkulously powerful version of the Galaxy Note 3. Four gigs of RAM is crazy. Damn powerful. At this point, it's just like a big, I probably can't make that joke, but it's just a contest to see if you can put the most specs to the phone. I can't imagine Samsung putting anything that could use four gigs of RAM, but I imagine it'll be super fast. So now that the iPhone 5S is on the market, it's obviously time for iPhone 6 rumors to go flying. So according to a recent issue of Mac Fan Magazine, which judging by the title, they might be a little biased, Apple's aiming to launch the iPhone 6 in September. Not much of a story there, but the big story is, is Mac Fan is saying that it's going to have a five inch screen, which is kind of awesome and have a full HD display, which means 1920 by 1080 and a pretty baller PPI of 440. So I'm hoping bigger screen, but I'm hoping that bigger screen doesn't mean Apple's like, hey, look, get extra row of icons. Give me something iOS 6, with the revamped iOS 8, which I feel like I'm a broken record here that maybe has some sort of widgets. Please give me a way to quickly view my information, Apple. Google is not one to sit by and get out Samsung by Samsung. Tools in the air getting ready to launch their own smartwatch which is going to super integrate Google Now as their killer feature. Uh, so it's going to be used for localized alerts according to the Wall Street Journal. They also claim that they learned Google is going to enter mass production of the watch in the coming months, which means it's gearing up for a public launch super duper soon. Google was supposedly building some crazy weird building barge off the coast of San Francisco, so maybe it's something to do with that since KitKat and the Nexus 5 are already here. No one knows what that weird multi-million dollar floating thing was the government said you can't do because it seems shady. But perhaps it's something to do with the smartwatch. It's supposedly like the Pebble and the Galaxy Gear. It's gonna provide the obvious stuff, like alerts and sync directly with your smartphone. Unlike the Galaxy Gear though, Google cares about battery life. So hoping you don't have to plug it in quite as frequently. At least that's all according to the Wall Street Journal. I use the Galaxy Gear. I know the Galaxy Gear. Galaxy Gear is my friend. The Galaxy Gear does not last very long, so hopefully Google's gonna do this sucker upright. I love Google Now, and hopefully on a watch, it will be super awesome. Supposedly, Facebook is looking to purchase BlackBerry, or at least they had a how you do meeting. So obviously BlackBerry might be on the way out of the consumer smartphone market. I'm sorry if you're a BlackBerry fan, it's just, it's gonna happen. But there's been a shortage of interest from folks looking to get all cozy, or acquire all the company, or at least part of it. The latest company is Facebook whose executives recently met with BlackBerry, according to the Wall Street Journal yet again. Facebook's has dipped its toe in the smartphone market before. Make sure you remember they have partnerships with HTC, but it might be a much deeper interest here. So Fairfax Financials had the most public bid for BlackBerry, though Lenovo is also eyeing parts of the company, as is BlackBerry co-founder, and his name I can finally pronounce, Mike Lazaridis. All right now though, several of those interested parties have signed super tight NDAs. Look over BlackBerry's financials, so it doesn't necessarily mean that a bid's been made, it just means that there's a little bit of interest. They've asked them out on a first date. Doesn't mean they're gonna get anywhere, but they're getting to know each other. If Facebook does move forward with the BlackBerry purchase though, it is possible the company will consider developing its own smartphone. Judging by the success of HTC First, I should say they've got a lot of work to do for them. So what do you guys think of Facebook buying BlackBerry? It seems kind of weird, supposedly. There might be some interest from Amazon as well. Uh, I don't think Facebook makes sense. I don't think Amazon makes sense. I think BlackBerry slinging off their patents probably makes the most sense. I'm not sure who wants to pick up uh, BlackBerry 10, but I hear HP likes to buy pretty good operating systems and put them on the shelf and do nothing with them. So, I don't know, HP? Meg Whitman, it's your move. So let me interrupt this video for just a fine minute to thank our friends, sponsors, and good peeps overall at Carbonite. They are the online backup solution for all your computer, server, and external hard drives at your home 
your small office or your business or your home small office business. Just set it up once and Carbonate will protect all your computer files so that you can stay focused on running your business. No hardware required at all. With Carbonite getting files back that have been lost, it's super easy. Your employees can even access their backup files on any computer, smartphone, or iPad, the free Carbonite app. If you don't have employees, no problem. Your mom, dad, sister, cousin, aunt, or uncle can also access their files. For a low flat annual fee, Carbonite keeps your business protected no matter how many computers you have, where they're located, no matter what they're doing, what color they are, just it'll protect them. Start your free trial and no credit card required at Carbonite.com. Enter offer code TECHNO today and you'll get two free months if you decide to buy. Again, that's Carbonite.com and enter offer code TECHNO. Like the music. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed this uncarried version of the show. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate it. Till next week, I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you next time. What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you wanna see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.